Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have an insane flashback SPC to talk about today. There is a big leak going around right now on Twitter about a flashback Neymar SPC. And this isn't just a leak of like, hey, it's coming soon. This is a leak of it's coming this weekend. So today or tomorrow, we are expecting this big flashback Neymar SBC, which is a game-breaking SBC. I want to talk about how much it might cost, what the card could look like, and how it's going to affect the market because that is an SBC that a lot of people will want to get their hands on that card because flashbacks, and especially for a top player like that in this game, that will have a lot of hype around it as the hype is already starting to build and the market's already starting to move because of those leaks. I want to talk about that and all the content released yesterday with the Future Stars team too. Some really insane boosts on guys like Pedri, Florian Verts, um, and you know even Kay Correa is, is the center midfielder from the League One is taking a lot of hype and getting a lot of hype right now, along with the new objective, which has a really interesting twist to it between Guri and Chukweze, and also the Talent Scout SBC, and just everything that happened on the market yesterday. There's a lot of movement, especially with the 85 times 10s being opened by so many people. SBC fodder was moving yesterday, so we'll talk about all of that in today's video. If you're excited for a flashback Neymar, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it, right? Because this is the SBC that is getting everybody so hyped right now in this game. Flashback Neymar, according to Foot Sheriff, our resident leaker on Twitter, is coming this weekend. He will be a flashback from his Santos seasons. So back in time, we're going back to FIFA 12 and FIFA 13, and we talk about a couple things today. But imagine this card coming to FIFA, right? Neymar, of course, is a left-wing player. And anytime there's a central version of Neymar released on this game, there's a lot of hype for it. These flashback SBCs are cool. These are some of my favorite ones where they take a player in their current form IRL and they kind of take a snapshot of how that player played or how that player was in the past, like a flashback in time to where Neymar was when he was younger, right? Kind of the same thing happened last year in FIFA 21 with the Cristiano Ronaldo flashback to Manchester United the first time, right? If you guys remember that card. But there's a couple things that need to be a part of this flashback Neymar. This right here, this concept that you're seeing is just a prediction, right? If it's a flashback to his Santos days, Back in those earlier days of FIFA, right now Neymar is a left wing, right? He's 5-star, five 5-star. Five He's got 91 pace, 94 dribble, 83 shooting, and 86 passing. If we go back to the Santos days, which on Footbin, there is a Santos card here. There's a couple of them, right? Before he transferred to Real Madrid, this might be the card that EA would be flashing back to. Now, don't worry. I would imagine the card that they're going to flash back to, maybe it's this one, this card should, these, these stats should not be the exact same stats that a flashback Neymar would have in this game. But I think that EA has to do something very special with this Neymar and they have to give him good stats because if they would give him a card kind of like this, or especially back in uh, FIFA 12, Neymar did not have a five star, five star on his card. He was five star, four star. If they don't give him five star, five star, if he's not central, which he was in this version, and if he has less than 80 shooting or less than 80 pace, I feel like this flashback Neymar might be a little bit of a flop, right? I'm just being honest. EA, I think for this flashback, it's got to be a central position. So center forward, center attacking mid, striker, probably a center forward version. It has to be five-star skills and five-star weak foot. And I think they really can't downgrade the stats that much, right? We saw last year with Cristiano Ronaldo's flashback card from his gold item to the flashback, they dropped his shooting by 14 they dropped his, or they added two to his pace, dropped three dribbling, dropped five physical and six passing. But also for this Ronaldo last year, his gold card was like a million coins and this SBC was 300K. So it was a third of the price and they dropped his weak foot from four star to three star. So of course this SBC last year was kind of crazy. It was like the cheap Ronaldo. Now Ronaldo's gold card this year is this price. It's just crazy how the market's different this year in FIFA 22. But with that being said, with how insane and how insane the power curve is right now in FIFA 22, they have to get this Neymar. They have to give him some pretty good stats. His gold card already, if you take, if you compare this card to this one here, I don't expect to see more shooting or more passing or maybe even more physical on a Neymar card now 
uh, for a flashback card than like over his gold card, right? I think it's going to have less stats than his gold in some areas, but then hopefully the pace and dribbling are maybe up a little bit more. That's kind of what we can hope for. So that's kind of what needs to be for this Neymar. Now, how much would it cost? This SBC, in my opinion, with the gold item being 330K on the market, this SBC should be cheaper, right? If the card's not going to be as good, I know it might be a central position change, which is more usable, and maybe EA will make that, you know, price that into the SBC a little bit, but I feel like this SBC needs to be 250,000 coins, 300K max, and only at that price, if they're gonna give him the five-star weak foot, five-star skills, they're gonna make him a central card, and give him stats very similar to this card here. They need to do that to make this a really hype SBC. Now it's already got some hype to it because it's coming out, right? And it's leaked and we're talking about it. And a flashback Neymar is just cool, right? That card in this game would be so cool, but it also needs to be a good SBC for this to be a hype item to be dropped. So again, 250, 300,000 coins, what would that look like? How many squads, what kind of fodder would EA require for that? Now, right now we have a mid or prime icon upgrade SBC that is like 370K. It's 84, 85, 85, 86 rated squads. Um, so I would imagine that if they were gonna do like a 300K Neymar SBC, I doubt it would just be like one squad, 88 rated, right? They're probably gonna require maybe an 84, 85, and 86 rated squads. That would kind of put you in that 200 high to like just below 300,000 coin range, maybe an inform requirement or two. Something like that would be what I would expect for this Neymar card. Now, speaking of the market, right? Would that make SBC fodder go up? I absolutely think that it would. I think people would see a Neymar card like this, especially if it is central and it does have the five star, five star. People would be very, very hyped for that item. Now, obviously, people have already started to sell off their gold Neymars. This 91 Neymar has dropped down like 40, 50,000 coins, probably going to continue to drop even more into today on Saturday as people maybe expect this SBC to come out today. It's going to be either today or tomorrow, but some people will expect it today as they continue to sell their Neymars uh, on the market. He's dropped down a lot. Uh, you even saw some of the Neymar informs and like this inform Neymar was down. He was 1.4 million coins. Uh, he was 1.3 mil flat earlier. He's up like 40K since then, but people are selling, right? Because the potential for a Neymar SBC to be out is very, very hype. So again, and how could this affect the market in terms of other cards that you would buy to maybe link to Neymar? Uh, think about a lot of Brazilians in this game. Again, it all depends on the value of the SBC. If Neymar is not very hyped or if people say, nah, the upgrade or the price isn't good enough, then you might not see these other Brazilians rise. But think about why Neymar may not be as hyped this year in FIFA. He's still a very good card, but with the prominence of Vinny Jr. in this game and how insane this card is, also being five star, five star skills, only a four star weak foot. Um, but this card has taken a little bit of Neymar's hype in my opinion. So with Neymar being central, you might be able to play these two guys together. Maybe Vinny Jr.'s cards would see a rise after the Neymar SBC is released. Maybe some of your other PSG links. And of course, Brazilian icons you would want to keep an eye on. I believe that people started even going out and buying um, this Roberto Carlos Prime icon because they were expecting that uh, Neymar to be dropping and people would want to link those two together. So watch out for your Brazil icons, other Brazil special cards on this game. If Neymar is good value, if he is a five-star, five-star item central, and it's just a very hype SBC, then I think you will see the Brazilian market really rise. Kind of like last year with the Ronaldo SBC, you saw a lot of the Juve and Serie A links go up because of that. So that's kind of the Neymar SBC. Again, it really comes down to the price and how good the card looks. Today or tomorrow is the leaked time frame for that SBC to be dropping in this game. So that's very, very hype. And that's what we're looking forward to today on Saturday. Now, what other, we have one other leak to actually talk about here in uh, just a second. This was not even leaked, actually. This That's not even the right way to say it. This was a concept card, two concept cards that were actually added to the game. I searched it up on my own companion app to, to see if this was legit just a couple hours ago. And as you can see, EA added two special versions of Tanganga and you can tell here this is a Future Stars item because it's got that little infinity symbol that uh, the cards in this game like Ferran Torres and Elmaz and Tomiyasu, cards that have a player pick or like Shaloba, right? If there's two different options of a card for a Future Stars, it's got that little uh, 
symbol above the rating. So we have a right back and a left back Tanganga with the exact same stats. Now it is supposedly said that based on the right or left sided version, the, he has a strong foot that suits like a right footed, uh, strong foot on the right side, left foot on the left side. Uh, but I don't know when this is going to be coming. Of course, it was just added to concepts and it is added to the game. It's not there anymore. EA took it away. Uh, but people noticed that last night I went and searched it and it was there. So that is very interesting. I don't know when that's going to come, but maybe it'll be coming soon. Uh, and that's some of the future stars content that we could see throughout this weekend. Now, speaking about the future stars content from yesterday, future stars team number two, um, it's very similar to team number one in terms of a lot of hype cards at the top tier. EA did give out some really big boosts. But also the content in general, the SBC was not that great. The objectives are cool, but a lot of the cards that are in packs here too are already so cheap. Like look at how many cards we have that are under 50,000 coins. Nunez, Cabore, Adams, Miranda, Salisu, right? There are so many cards that are under even 100,000 coins that are a part of this team. Yes, a lot of them do have really good stats, but again, and the hype is for those elite tier cards. Lacroix, Gravenberch, Verts, Pedri with a five-star skill upgrade. This card right here, um, it's extinct still on the PlayStation at 2 million coins after his price range was upgraded from 1.5 to 2 mil. But this card looks unbelievable. I mean, almost maxed out passing, almost maxed out agility balance, high, high work rates, five-star skills. They gave him a boost there. He's got a uh, lean body type. This card is going to feel so good in game and i understand why he's extinct at two million coins for his first ever special card uh like this pedri card is absolutely mental that's definitely the most hype card out of this promo but vert's got a really good boost there were so many cards that are a part of this team that got good boosts i even think that brian hill of course slightly biased as a spurs fan wearing the spurs top even right now uh i, I wish this guy was still at the club but Look at this boost, right? They gave him plus 33 physical, plus 41 jumping. He went from 73 finishing up to 90, 95 positioning. He's got really high agility balance. He also has the lean body type. I imagine that this card would be unbelievably silky smooth in game. So I kind of want to get my hands on him and try him out. So there's a lot of good looking cards in here. Even Daka, he got the four star, four star upgrade as well. Not a really big upgrade overall from his winter wildcard swaps item. Uh, but this one is a lot more, um, you know, usable with that four star weak foot that he did not have before, or excuse me, the four star skills that he did not have before. Uh, and of course this one, not too many people had this version of DACA since it was a winter wildcard swaps reward. Uh, and this one's on the market. So it's an interesting card, very pacey striker. I think Raspadori is a very cheap beast for Serie A striker squads and Ibanez looks pretty good for a Brazilian center back. So a lot of decent cards released yesterday but nothing that insane. I'm also very curious about this uh, Keiko Ray card. I actually packed him from a player pick and he has a lot of hype. I still feel like this card is overpriced. Face stat wise, he looks okay. 68 shooting kind of, you know, puts you off, but he has 95 short pass, 90 long pass, 94 stamina, 91 interceptions, 97 agility, 94 balance, high, high work rates, lean body type. I did use him for one game. He does feel very silky um, as a super sub for me when I put him in. But I still think with all the other French midfielders and all the other content that we even still have leaked right now, like another Genduzi uh, or, you know, players like that, the Kamara future stars that is potentially leaked as well. I think this card still is going to drop in price, even though it's very hyped right now at the moment. It is a cool card, but I think it is a bit overpriced. Um, but that, of course, is a very hype part of the game at this moment. Now, one of the other most hype parts of the game yesterday was the new objective. And there's an interesting twist to this that I want to talk to you guys about. Chukweze for a right mid super sub, or maybe even in your uh, La Liga team, does look like a very nice card. And then also Guri striker card. This is a French striker that EA is giving to you for playing 10 games of a friendly. Uh, I think this card is really, really good. He is four star skills, four star weak foot. Um, I know it says here in game, I think that he has a three-star weak foot or something, but it's actually a visual glitch. He is four-star, four-star, which is very, very nice. He does have some pretty good in-game stats. Um, he's not going to be the most meta card ever, but for a free French striker, this is a pretty solid card. This is one of the better objectives, in my opinion, that they have released this year for the links that he has as well. Um, and I love this concept. This is the interesting part of the concept here. If you're 
playing f the games in League One liaisons for this Future Stars Guri, if you're playing League One liaisons, you go into that friendly game mode and you search for a game, you're actually going to be searching and find somebody and be matched up with somebody who is playing in the La Liga Lights objective game mode. So two different friendly game modes that match each other, if that makes sense. If you're playing for Chukweze, you're going to match somebody playing for Guri. It's very interesting. It's kind of cool. And it's not that much of a grind. Only 10 separate matches that you have to play to score in all 10, win four, assist four goals, and score to finesse goal, right? And it's really easy to do Guri as well, scoring outside the box, assist three goals, win four, and score in 10. So these are like, honestly, for 20 games, you're getting two pretty nice super subs. Uh, and it's a really easy grind. So big fan of that. I thought they were going to be released as academy players, but evidently they were not. EA released them with this new friendly like cross match mode or whatever you want to call it. So that's kind of cool. I do think that's dope. Now, SBCs from yesterday were not as hype. We had the talent scout winner um, that we thought we were going to get with leveling. Uh, from the Bundesliga, it is a very pacey card, but medium, medium work rates, only a three-star weak foot. And this coming in at like 160,000 coins just didn't get very many people hyped. The biggest hype yesterday was around the winter wild cards. Sorry, not winter wild cards. That was the last time of swaps, but future star swaps in the 85 times 10 packs that got everybody tons of fodder. Now the market actually acted spot on to what I thought it was going to do with the content yesterday and I'm going to show you how it did that. I want to take a look at the price of the mid or prime icon upgrade. So like we said in yesterday's video, everybody was going to go out, open this pack, open their lightning rounds. Fodder was probably going to get cheap for like that first hour and then go up as everybody had fodder and they went to go and do SBCs that were out. That is perfectly shown here on the mid prime graph. You can see the mid prime was like 400k leading into the day yesterday on Friday, it dropped all the way down to 350 during that first hour of content and then shot right back up to 393, almost 400K. So that's what happened to a lot of your fodder cards. Again, kind of as we expected, you saw a lot of these cards drop in price and then rebound back up a little bit. Let's take a look at Lukaku, who's now 28,000 coins. Lukaku was like 29, 30K, went all the way down to about 26. And I even, when the, these cards were very low, I actually went into this page on Flipin um, and I was seeing 88s at 24K. I was seeing Harry Kane at like 40,000 coins flat. These cards were all low in price because they were getting supplied from lightning rounds. But then right away, a couple minutes later, they started to shift back up in price as people went out and they did some of those SBCs with that fodder that they had. So the fodder market still though, in general, as you look at a few of these prices, I wouldn't say that it's low, but it is lower than where it was. Now, of course, with a flashback Neymar potentially coming out, maybe some more SBCs that we have leaked like the Genduzi and other stuff like that. I think fodder does have more potential to rise. So, you know, keep an eye on it this weekend. And even as we take a look, like for Lukaku, last week he was low on Friday, right? He was 25,000 coins, rose up during the week with all the content into the mid 30s. Now he's back down again with all the supply on this weekend. So if you see these guys low this morning or even today into tomorrow, depending on when Neymar is dropped, how much the SBC costs and stuff like that, it could be another great time with still a lot of content expected to come over this next week of future stars. Might be a great time to stock up on some of this fodder if you have not done so already just kind of a tip right there i think fodder could keep going up if the content stays good and keeps rolling like we imagine that it should so that's kind of how everything went on the game yesterday now one thing i want to talk about as well there's a lot of controversy uh on twitter right at the moment because of some issues um, with the division rivals rewards. Now this was just tweeted out a couple hours ago and we have to talk about this cause it's some FIFA news for sure. Um, but EA basically with the division rivals rewards, how they were messed up and they were, you know, on kind of being able to be claimed repeatable. EA is taking some pretty drastic measures here. Um, we have identified active accounts that consistently exploited the div rivals rewards earlier this week and have suspended them for, from FIFA 22 for seven days. So if you claimed your rewards like multiple times or something like that, uh, you got suspended for seven days from FIFA. Let me know down in the comments if this happened to anybody. I, nobody's contacted me yet, but I'm sure it's impacted a few people. And then this is the one that released the banhammer. The banhammer dropped on this tweet right here. 
Additionally, we have identified active accounts that severely exploited Rivals rewards earlier this week. These accounts have received the aforementioned seven day suspension and will also no longer be able to access the transfer market in FIFA 22. So, uh, you know, I even saw a couple tweets earlier where some guy was like, yeah, my son uh, opened up his Dev Rivals rewards, saw that he could claim it multiple times. He did it a few times and now he can't play FIFA for seven days. But um, yeah, I mean, this is like, I think this is actually the second time this year where EA have banned people. Uh, the first time was when, I forget what it was. It was something to do with like weekend league rewards or something like, oh yeah, the no loss glitch in weekend league. The no loss glitch in weekend league when people were exploiting that earlier this year, that was a whole issue. Um, so this is the second time we've seen this. Usually like I, I was thinking back into my mind about when we had the whole situation with the, um, the fire and ice cards. Like remember when everybody went out and was opening packs because EA took the, the, um, freeze cards or whatever these are called now versus ice cards out of packs like gabriel jesus we were all trying to pack this card because it was supposed to be in packs but it actually wasn't uh so we were all kind of exploiting an error but nobody got banned for that so this is just it seems a bit harsh from ea a little bit i mean some i understand the point and i understand the concept of them breaking the rules right these people broke the rules by claiming their rivals rewards more and more times um but it's, it's crazy to see ea banning some people from the transfer market for the rest of the game because of that. So I hope that none of you guys were negatively impacted by that decision. Um, but I guess this just goes to show that if something ever like that happens again, just be very careful and tread lightly because you might run into a situation where, you know, you could get banned. So that's just kind of something that I saw today and wanted to shout out there. I know a lot of people are talking about it. Some people are like, yeah, that's good. They got banned. I understand that side of the coin. And I also understand where, you know, maybe some people didn't understand or just saw it and were like, oh, wait, I can keep claiming these? This is weird. So they just kept going with it. So I understand both sides of the argument. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, because that was pretty crazy um, to see all that conversation on Twitter tonight. Now, one last thing, uh, Future Stars team number one, we did make a lot of coins yesterday because we bought some of these cards when we saw the content was just okay. Bought some Konates at 259, sold those at 294. Bought some Mateus Cunha at 140s, sold them uh, at 170 and above. Smith Rowe, I got these at 580. Uh, bought a Ferran Torres at 13, sold that at 142. And then Vlahovic, I got at 480. So some really good flips there. Still have a couple flips selling. And I did buy a couple Lacroix tonight. Gonna try to flip those into today on Saturday. But yeah, let me know, man. The Neymar SBC is, of course, taking everybody right now and just getting everybody alert and very hyped for that. So I really hope that we see that today on Saturday, but either today or tomorrow is when we do expect to see that. Let me know if you're hyped for that SBC down below in the comments and what you think about Future Stars team number two. But that has been the video for today, boys. Again, if you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.